Now to the fucking bullshit of the fucking fuck, as you can tell. I'm slightly upset. Time to find the right tools. Nope. Nada. Nope. Bro, seriously, where the fuck? God damn it, Ricky Bobby. All right, this is getting to be bullshit at this point. Seriously? Where the fuck did I put it? I just realized how many random ass shift knobs and stuff I have. I have this old Goretti and it says trust on top. I know it's a Goretti shift knob. Trust is a Japan, uh, I guess, what would you say, mother company. This thing is warm, man. I had this on my Celica back in the early 2000s and I wore it down. I probably could use a good polish. I doubt this on top can really be fixed. It's just grody as shit. But I didn't realize how many old shift knobs I had and I did take the cube off because, well, I took the cube short shifter out of my car which I'll talk about to that in here in a couple minutes. But yeah, I did take the cube short shifter out of my car and I'll tell you why I took it out. I'll uh, go over that here in a little bit. But I got some other things to go over with you guys here today. So if you saw the title of this, you're gonna see that I'm a pretty pissed off camper right now. Uh, I talked about this a little bit before as I wiped some bugs off of me and some more here because I have a real bad gnat problem at my house. Anyways, the company I bought the turbo rebuild kit from pretty much said, mm, we're not returning your money and I'm putting them on blast. Fuck them because I'm tired of it. I'm really pissed off and fuck them. But before we get to that, and I'll show you everything and I did find the correct bearings finally, some other things I wanted to go over with you quick. First off here, it's going to be about tires. Uh, I've worn down through these pretty quick. I need some recommendations on for new tire guys. So I've always used Nitto NT triple fives. I've used that ever since I was actually in high school. I just like the tire. It's always worked real well for me but I've never had real power in my entire life. Being honest, I've just never had a car that had any type of power and maybe to go something a little bit stickier. One thing I will say right off the bat, I do not want to go to Toyo R888s. They are loud as fuck. Uh, after riding in a car with them, I'm like, holy shit, it sounds like you're running in a truck with 38s on it and just like mud tires going down the road and I can't stand that shit. That's going to drive me nuts if I have to deal with that all day long. Um, there's got to be a better option out there for the car. Um, like I said, I'm running the NT triple fives right now, and they're okay, but they're not perfect. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to go to a tire that makes it sound like shit. Um, I know when you go to a stickier tire, obviously it's going to pick up more. It's going to be a softer compound. Um, I would like it to be a radial tire still. I do not want to go to a non-belt tire. Uh, I don't want too soft of a sidewall because I do like to make turns with this car. Uh, I know a lot of people go to big weld RTSs, or I shouldn't say big welds, small weld RTSs and stuff like that, get a real soft sidewall tire, get a taller tire, and then they go, oh shit, I can't make a turn with my car now. I don't want that. I still want to be able to drive the car, but I'm looking for a better tire without going to triple eights. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or where to buy them besides, through, I don't know, I might just check out what my local guy has. I'm, maybe I'm overthinking all this, but I just don't want a ton of road noise from it. The car's loud enough as it is. Yes, I get it. It's supposed to be loud, blah, 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 but I want it loud in the areas I want it to be loud in, like the exhaust, blow a foul, I'm chewing gum. Stuff like that is okay with me, but I, I hate road noise. I hate when I can hear gear whine. These are the kind of things I don't want to be hearing. Um, I shouldn't really have gear whine. I know R154s are bad for gear whine. But I want to get rid of all that. I want it to make, you know, exhaust noise and blow off valve turbo noise. That's it. Everything else should be dead quiet. It shouldn't be making any excess noises. Some other good news. I did find a white MR2 in Cincinnati. Uh, I think someone, Boost Technique, whatever your real name is, I think he's the one that sent it, sent it to me uh, via YouTube. Um, I'm trying to get a hold of the guy right now. It looks to be nice. It's a little bit more than I think it should be worth. I think he wants like 11300 for it. Uh, I believe he's the original owner. Uh, it's also an original 93 car, original turbo car, uh, all new leather throughout the, the car. Uh, just recently swapped Gen 3 motor. Has a few upgrades. I think it has a CT20B turbo, so it's good for 300 wheel horsepower, which some people are probably saying that's not much, but MR2, it's a fun little car. Um, so it has all the upgrades. I prefer a Gen 4 swap just because it has coil packs over coil and plug. Um, uh, I don't know, I mean, that's just me, just, I mean, not coil and plug, but yeah, distributor. Um, but yeah, I just that's just me being picky. I know some guys are running a Gen 5. I know TCS Motorsports, who I've been speaking with here. Um, Ty over there said that he's been doing a few Gen 5 swaps. Now, I don't know very much about them, but the Gen 4 is where I'd like to go. Uh, the problem with the Gen 4, from my understanding, is also the rods are slightly weaker. Now, my 300 wheel horsepower mark, that shouldn't be an issue, but I don't want to take any chances either. I could be to over, totally overthinking this with the Gen 3, Gen 4 swap or Gen 5 swap, but I'm trying to be picky 
just because I want to get this and kind of be a very simplistic car. I don't want it to be the project that my Supra has been here for the last couple of years. I want it to be more a simplistic vehicle, something that's going to be a little bit easier to deal with, kind of a the car I can drive and have fun with while I'm always working on the Supra and upgrading stuff on that. I feel like the Supra is still going to be my mod baby where I'm going to pump a ton of money into this where the MR2 is going to be all right, honey, let's go to dinner tonight. Let's go for a car show. You know, I won't have the super, but I'll have something else. I can take the car shows, go to car meets, um, maybe take the cruise week next year instead of taking the super so I can keep this down a little bit longer. Uh, I would like for once to not have like crazy deadlines. Like I take it apart and say end of November, then I'm forcing myself by at least March to try and get it ready. So make sure there's no bugs, no issues to make sure it's ready for cruise week. I'd like for once to maybe push it out to say May or maybe even June to maybe, you know, do some more things, test some new things out. You know, I'm always testing stuff and I always try to perfect it before I start doing long hauls. So unlike other people who say, fuck it and take it down the road, I tend to test my vehicles out before I push them too hard. All right, now to the fucking bullshit of the fucking fuck. As you can tell, I'm slightly upset. So, turbo rebuild. Finally got the correct bearings. Ron Souders, thank you very much, buddy. I got the correct ID and OD. Great. Black Horse Racing, who I bought the original kits from, pretty much fucked me and stole my money. Sent me the wrong kits, is not refunding my money, and putting them on blast. They can go fuck themselves. Um, I should be a little bit nicer. There's kids, families watch this. I apologize, but I'm to the point where I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm over it. I don't like being lied to. I don't like my money taken from me. It's a minute amount of money. It's like $40 or so. It's nothing, nothing crazy, okay? It's not a ton of money, but it's the fact that someone's taking something from me that they shouldn't be. This money should be refunded. This money should be just given back to me. I'm going to give your product back. I have everything. It's never been inside the turbo. It's never been around it. I measured the bearings. It is the incorrect size and inner diameter ID and the OD, outer diameter, are both 100% way off, will not work whatsoever, um, does me no good, tried to get a refund, and they didn't want to send it back, uh, they said, is it is in original packaging? Yes, it is, I took care of all that, I uh, put everything back the way it was, as if it was shipped to me, um, I didn't even touch and get any oil on it, didn't do anything, I literally took it out, measured the bearings first and foremost, and put them back in, stapled it back together, came this weird plastic casing here, which, let me actually grab it, it came in this weird plastic casing uh, right here. Put the, as you guys can see here, see the little bearings there, the little bronze bearings. Put them all back in there along with everything else. Um, I'm not going to, I don't know what to do with that. I don't want to throw it away either in case something happens here, but I guess I'm stuck with pretty much junk because it does me no good for right now. Um, but yeah, Black Horse Racing won't refund my money. Uh, I said, you know, is there anything we can do? And I haven't heard back since. Uh, I would like to, I shouldn't say that, I would like to get my something back at this point. I think they originally were going to try and refund the money, but I haven't heard any more on it. Um, I said, you know, I need a shipping label, I need to get this all done, sent them email, sent them another email, and haven't heard anything. It's just very disheartening. Um, I just wish companies wouldn't do this. You know, if, if, if $40 or $30 is going to break you as a company, I think you might want to reevaluate yourself and your brand slash company as a whole if something so minute is going to break you again it probably comes off then why am i bitching about it if it's so minute it's principle it's business it's piss poor business and i don't want anyone else buying something from them that twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars is a lot to them you know i know there's honda guys out there honda kids that you know they don't have a lot of money they put everything they have into their cars and they're rebuilding their turbo and he just threw forty dollars away if you're making eight, nine bucks an hour, 40 bucks is a good chunk of change, you know? You're talking after taxes, that's more than half your day's work, six hours worth of work. You don't want to be pissing that money away. And I just don't like seeing anyone getting robbed or stolen from like I was. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a cold one uh, break, I guess. Yes, I'm still drinking Keystone, guys. It's not going away. But <laughs> getting back, yeah, not happy. Uh, don't want this to happen to anybody else again. Last time I'm going to say it, Black Horse Racing, don't buy. Don't waste your time. Uh, there's many better vendors. That, I shouldn't say many better. Horrible English. There's much better places to buy from. There are better vendors to go through. MVP Motorsports, Kaizen uh, Motorsports. You have uh, Real Street, you have Titan, you have Boost Logic, you have SP Engineering, you have AMS, you have Rally Sport, whoever, what kind of a car you have, there's so many valid vendors out there. I was just kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because I'm trying to find specific parts, something that's very hard to find as it was. And when I saw it pop up, 
I was like, shit, I'm gonna go for it, give it a try. It says that it'll be the correct uh, fit and uh, make for my model of turbo I have, and I'm like, great. And it just didn't happen. Now, if they would have manned up for it, it would have been no big deal. You know, shit happens. I, I, and I'm not blaming a company for making a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. We're all human. No one is perfect. But when you don't admit your mistake or you don't man up to it, that bothers me. I'd like to think on this channel, for the most part, I show you guys every mistake I make. I, I, I tell you every mistake that I've done. I try to walk you guys through it because no one's perfect. You know, when people build cars and you, you do these kind of things, they're not meant to do this. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have issues. So... I try to preach the honesty, and especially in the car world where there's a lot of lying and a lot of fudge numbers, um, I'm trying to preach that it doesn't need to be that way. We need to, I guess, come together and it doesn't have to be that way. So stay away from these shady companies that are ripping off our friends, ripping someone like myself off, and guide you guys to a better company. So that's pretty much what I have for you today, guys. Just don't fall for what I did. Try to do your research a little bit better. I thought it was buying from a valid company, uh, but apparently I was not. It, these are the kind of things that happen, especially when we're buying offline. You don't have a face you're going to anymore. That's one of the problems now. You can do what I'm doing, put them on blast, which can kind of hurt their name. Uh, they, they seem to be a real small company. There's not really much to them. But what are you going to do? I mean, it is what it is. I'm not trying to kill their business, but I think it needs to be known that they pretty much screwed me over. Um, I don't appreciate it, and I don't want else having this happen to them also. So, guys, try to leave it on a lighter note. Thank you very much. Um, I'm working on decals right now, and I'm working on new T-shirt design. I'd like to come up with a new type of T-shirt, maybe cut down costs some. I appreciate the people that have ordered them. I only have, like, three or four shirts left, and I'm out. Uh, so I do appreciate all the shirt orders, guys, and I'm going to try and figure something out that drop ships straight to you. Uh, make it a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about me being home, trying to get them packaged up through USPS, getting them shipped out that day, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, same with the decals i'm trying to work with one fluid site to do the shirts and the decals um i think the one guy tried to help me out here i think he's in johnstown um but i'm looking for something more online a little bit easier uh, i don't want to have to do anything i don't want anything shipped to my house anymore i wanted to literally design it do everything if i have to pay a little bit more on my end i'll eat that cost you guys don't have to but at least it'll come out direct and get to you guys very quickly so guys, thank you very much. I appreciate everything y'all do. Go down below, check out my Facebook and Instagram, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.